You want the Lewis structure for IF5? I got you, fam. Let's count the number of valence electrons. Iodine brings seven, and fluorine also brings seven, but there are five of them. So that's 35 to add to our seven. That's 42 valence electrons total. I'm gonna put my I in the center and surround it with fluorines. One, two, three, four, five. I put them in a pentagon. I always single bond my central atom to my outer atoms just to hold them all together in a molecule. And that accounts for 10 of the electrons themselves. I need 42, so I'm about to complete the octet on my outer atoms. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, all of my outer atoms are completed and I still have two extra valence electrons to do. See, I got to 40, but I need 42. Uh, that means I need to dump two extra electrons on my center atom and I am donezo. That's it. Um, in case you're here for molecular geometry, this is a central atom with five things connected to it and one lone pair. AX5E1 comes from octahedral, but without one of them, you end up with something that is called square pyramidal. It's kind of like octahedral, but without that bottom one. Let me draw that for you. Left and right for two of the fluorines, up and not down for the other fluorines. Then one comes out at you and one goes back into the page. See how that is a square based pyramid. That's why it's called square pyramidal. Did I blow your mind? I bet I did. It's the way it goes, but your Lewis structure is this with a lone pair on the I. I can have more than eight electrons around it because it's farther into the periodic table than phosphorus. The octet rule goes out the window starting with phosphorus. It's the way it is. Best of luck.